seemed like just yesterday you were a true freshman getting ready to play your first season uh, at Nebraska. Now you're kind of one of the seasoned vets on this team. I guess uh, what's, what's your uh, approach going into this year, knowing that you have two full years of Big Ten ball under your belt, and now you're one of the, like I said, leaders on this team? Um, it's just I got to basically lock in. Um, that the past two years I haven't had a great year, so um, it's the year to do it with these guys. Um, we've been going at each other all summer, and it's, you know, to start right now, we start practice on next Saturday. But <laughs> but uh, you know, we just competing and trying to get better every day, and trying to turn some heads during the season. Was this offseason different for you, just as far as how you approached workouts, it's maybe specific things you were wanting to improve compared to, you know, maybe your two previous two summers? Um, a little bit. I mean, <laughs> I always, like, you know, take the summer series um, just to better my game and try to get better and try to improve and things I didn't have last season and things like that and watch film. But um, this year was different because, you know, we had a lot of new guys. So just trying to get chemistry with the new guys and get used to playing with them and understanding their game and things like that. So that's a big thing. How has that chemistry gone? Like you said, you got a lot of new pieces uh, in this puzzle. Uh, how have you guys bonded? I mean, you guys, it seems like you guys are getting along pretty well so far. Yeah, we bond pretty well. Everybody came along pretty well. I mean, the summer kind of put us together. Um, the whole summer working out and, you know, going through weights in the morning together and things like that. So, I mean, it's a fun group of guys to be around, and um, I like playing with these guys. When you look ahead to this season, do you envision yourself having a different role? Um, you know, I know, it seemed like last year you almost had to be kind of the facilitator, but now you have a little more backcourt depth with some of the new guys you brought in. Do you see yourself being maybe more of a scorer than you were in previous years? Um, I might have to score a little bit, but I think I feel like this team got a lot of scores like than people expected. Uh, that people expect, you know, um, got a lot of guys that can score at different levels and shoot the three, and then that's that's gonna help us a lot because we got a lot of guys that can spread the floor and um, a lot of guys improved a lot. So um, I think I'm gonna, it's gonna kind of be the same. It's gonna be me more like a leader. I'm gonna have to be more of a leader on the floor, make sure everything stays still and we on the same page. But um, I'm definitely gonna have to score some and find my teammates also. That's going to be the biggest thing is getting them open shots, easy shots too. You mentioned three-point shooting. That was one of the things Coach Miles said absolutely had to get better from last year. Yeah. You guys got some new guys that you know, seem to be uh, some help in that regard. I mean, do yeah. you think this offense is going to look a lot different just with the new pieces and the shooters that you've added uh, from yes. what it was last year? Yes, uh, definitely. I mean, we did change a lot of stuff on offense and the way we're going to play and things like that. And Coach Miles then made us, you know, push the ball up the court and we trying to score early because we got a lot of guys that can score so and then a lot of guys that can school shoot like uh, we got Nana that can shoot the ball pretty well we still have Jack and we got um, Copeland um, he can spread the floor James Palmer uh, Thomas them guys can shoot the ball extremely well so we got to just I just got to find them guys and um, get them good shots and get myself open shots too talks about you know knowing that you have to step up and be a leader especially with some of these young guys for specifically someone like Thomas Allen you know obviously he was one of the highly touted recruits in this last class um, have you kind of made it a point to take him under your wing I mean because since you guys are essentially going to be playing a similar role in that backcourt have you maybe tried to help him along and get him up to speed as quickly as possible yes I just tried to push him a lot I mean in practice go at him a lot because Miles telling me to go at him so I just I just been trying to go at him a lot and um, compete against him to make him better because I know that's going to make me better at the end of the day. Um, and he's a good player, you know, things like that. So um, he really talented. Why you? <laughs> he really talented. And, um, he gonna help us a lot this year with spreading the floor and just being another point guard on the floor and also be able to maybe move me off the ball too when he in the game. Also, last question for you. The Seems like a lot of the preseason predictions have you guys towards the bottom of the Big Ten right now. For Nebraska fans, what is your message to them as to why you're going to be better than people think you're going to be this season? Um, I mean, I expect everybody because they think like we lost a lot of people, we got a new team. But I think that's the good thing about it, that we got a new team. It's a new, fresh start. Um, we got some guys that can really play. 
came from different programs, been through it. Um, got new veterans, you know, you got Isaac, you got James, they've been through it, and um, Doobie. So we got a lot of guys that have been through the system already and played at a high level. So I feel like that's going to be the difference. And um, I mean, the rankings don't mean nothing until you start playing all, overall. So I'm not going to say nothing, say nothing too much until we start playing and let the game talk for itself.